Hi, I'm Jerry Mikulski. That's me in the middle there. I had an insight about a decade ago that takes me right back to my childhood. I was raised as an expat kid in Peru and Argentina, and at some point when I was about seven years old, I fractured my tibia swinging from a tree outside this living room. The American community came together and brought me some books, and I didn't have a lot of uh, books in English. And among the books they brought me were a couple out of this series called the Rick Brandt Science Adventure Stories. I'd never heard of them, but I had been reading the Hardy Boys and a little bit of Tom Swift, and this series was right between the two. The Hardy Boys are basically two boy detectives uh, who are brothers, and Tom Swift is much more science fiction, in fact, fantasy science fiction kind of stuff. And Rick Brandt had science in it, but uh, Rick Brandt was the, the son of Hartson Brandt, the senior, the elder of a community of scientists who lived on Spindrift Island off the coast of New Jersey, a fictitious island, and traveled the world solving mysteries that involved science. It was really cool. I loved it. Uh, a few years later, I happened across Johnny Quest, a cartoon series that was on TV, uh, which some of you might have seen which is effectively the same thing, may in fact have been inspired by Rick Brandt and similar sorts of series. Um, but this is a, a scientific community solving mysteries around the world, although the mysteries here involve lizard people and stranger things. You'll imagine my surprise and delight when I discovered Town 10 uh, in Argentina, actually, because we had a neighbor, I had a neighbor friend who was of Italian family, and he had some Tantans lying around in Italian. I spoke Spanish, but no Italian, but I could kind of piece together what was going on. But I thought the art was fantastic. And of course, Tintin is a boy detective wandering the world solving mysteries. Seeing a pattern here? And here he is with his, with his little dog Snowy, or Milou. And then, of course, you can imagine my delight on discovering Calvin and Hobbes. Now, Calvin is not busy solving any mysteries. He's trying to save the cosmos or do other kinds of things. But he has this playful ability to see everything around him with joy and with adventure and in different sorts of ways. So I, I really empathized. In fact, my first email address was spiff at well.com. Uh, so I was spiff for, for many years online until I sort of grew up and used my name. But all of these characters really formed a lot of my character. And now I'm a slightly grown-up boy detective going around solving mysteries around why the world is as screwed up as it is and how we can find our way out. This has turned into a thesis I call The Relationship Economy, which you can learn more about uh, if you go to jerrymikulski.com. But it's been fun reflecting on what got me here and uh, the strange parallels in all those things that I cared about so much as a kid.